Okay, welcome. Happy Sabbath. I'm here to tell you the mission story. It is actually the 12th Sabbath this week, which means that we need to remember that next week is our 13th Sabbath for our 13th Sabbath offering for our um, mission efforts. And even though we're not all in church, we can still um, bring our mission offerings between 11 and 12. Um, somebody is there to take offerings and, and um, give you um, the new Sabbath school quarterlies and any of the other literature that we might have for you. Um, my story today is from Cyprus, and it's about a little boy named Emmanuel Miralov. And here's a picture of him. And Emmanuel is nine years old now. Well, Emmanuel Miralov was born in Moscow, Russia, but he isn't Russian. His parents are both from Serbia and he has a Serbian passport, but he has never lived in Serbia. His parents worked as missionaries in Russia when he was born. When Emmanuel was three, his parents moved to Cyprus, a small island in the Mediterranean Sea. Emmanuel is a missionary kid. Emmanuel faced a big problem when he moved to Cyprus. He had no friends, but he quickly fell in love with two baby twins who lived nearby. He visited them every day. The baby's mother was kind. Emmanuel is safe at our place, she told Emmanuel's mother. Don't worry about him coming over. He isn't disturbing anyone. The babies loved seeing Emmanuel. They had a babysitter who took them for outdoor walks, and Emmanuel followed to make sure that they were having fun. He made faces, threw a ball, and ran in circles to make the babies laugh. Soon, Emmanuel wanted to bring the babies home. Can they come visit, he asked mother. Sure, mother said. During walks, the babysitter began to stop at Emmanuel's house so the babies could say hello to mother. One evening, mother called Emmanuel to come in for supper. I'm not hungry, he said. Um, mother was worried. Emmanuel was always hungry at supper time. Why aren't you hungry, she asked. I already ate at the baby's house. After this happened several times, mother decided to have a chat with the baby's mother. It's very kind of you, but please don't feed Emmanuel, she said. The baby's mother smiled. I know what you are worried about, but don't worry. Your son knows what is right and what is wrong. He has given me a lesson about clean and unclean food. Mother was surprised. She had taught Emmanuel what the Bible says about pork, shrimp, and other unclean food, but she never thought that he would share that information with anyone. The baby's mother continued talking. Emmanuel complained to me or explained to me that there is a list in the Bible of what we can and cannot eat. And I check it for myself. Mother, oh, so that I only give him clean food. Mother was so happy. God had used Emmanuel to answer her prayers. She had been praying about how to share Jesus with the neighbors. And now the baby's mother was ready to talk about um, Jesus. From that day, mother and the baby's mother became special friends. Today, Emmanuel lives in Cyprus, and he is much more than a missionary kid. Although only nine, he is a missionary too. His words and actions tell the neighbors about Jesus. Even his name reminds them of Jesus. Emmanuel means God with us. God said to love your neighbors, so I love my neighbors, Emmanuel said. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help construct a church and community center in Nicosia, the city where Emmanuel lives. So thank you for planning a big offering next week. Now I wanna show you a picture here. Um, well, there's my cat deciding he's gonna join me. Um, this is a mouflon. It's a type of wild goat. Uh, and it's the largest land animal um, on Cyprus and has been the symbol of Cyprus Airways for many decades. So I wanna thank you for joining us. 
for our mission story today. And again, I hope to see you in church very soon. Thank you very much.